Well, the CEO of Pfizer is now saying a booster shot will likely be needed six to 12 months after being fully vaccinated. And then people may need a shot every year after that. UCSF epidemiologist Dr. George Rutherford joins us now. And doctor, this isn't the news that people wanted to hear, I'm guessing. Um, was this completely out of left field or was this expected somewhere along the line? There's a school of thought that says we may need to broaden the base of immunizations and the, and the organisms we're immunizing for. If we get a lot of variants, if we get variants that evade the current vaccines, yeah, we'll have to add something to it. Um, as I understand it, though, the word likely was used and, you know, at the power of adverbs. Uh, and uh, I think it's, you know, I think it's a, a sort of a even bet whether we'll need to uh, add additional vaccines uh, as soon as uh, six months to a year. I think we'll eventually have to add them. But um, uh, I, I think the scenario of having it, uh, get it this changing year to year uh, and getting it along with the flu shot, I think it's somewhat unlikely. Um, it may well come out that way, but I would, I'm guessing that it, uh, uh, that we won't quite be there um, this time next year. Yeah, it's interesting because the terminology means a lot right now and people's ears are perking up for every little word that they hear. I think we're all used to the, the whole concept of getting a flu shot. And, and I know that flu shots are, are sort of, uh, I don't know, uh, tailor-made for the different strains that they're expecting. And, they're, and this is all done sort of ahead of time. Do, do you see, and you mentioned no, but do you see maybe something like that cooking down the down the line i'm always happy to say maybe yeah i think maybe <laughs> is, a, is a definite possibility uh you know i i what i suspect is that, a, that a, a couple of years from now we may need to go out and broaden the base and, and give an, uh, another injection that includes a few other things could happen sooner may not happen at all depending on how, how well we can get people vaccinated and stop transmission Okay, and this, so bottom line is this is not a done deal. This, this may happen, may not happen. We'll have to just wait and see. Let's talk for a minute about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It's on hold officially right now. We're hearing that it may be a week or so before FDA can make any decision on this thing. Um, do you think this is going to harm the whole process? Is this giving people second thoughts about that particular product? Yeah, yeah, I think it's giving people second thoughts about that particular product. I hope it doesn't give them second thoughts about the, the uh, messenger RNA vaccines, the mRNA vaccines, the Pfizer and Moderna that we're using. Uh, those don't have these problems at, at all. But I, I think that it's, you know, you have to stop and, and uh, take stock and uh, understand how safe this is, whether we need to tailor the population for whom uh, this vaccine uh, could, be, could be given. For instance, in some of the European countries, it's not being given to women under the age of 60. Uh, that's something that you could potentially do. Uh, you could just give it for men. Um, there are lots of, uh, lots of possibilities. The, the one-shot formulation is, is magic in a lot of ways. And uh, if we can pull that one off, that'd be great. But we have to, you can't sacrifice safety with vaccines that are being given to normal people. Understood. Dr. George Rutherford, always a pleasure. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye.